Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to customize reports. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. First things first, if you like this video and it's helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel. And also when you're done watching this video, head over to the QuickBooks University. That website is qbuniversity.org where I personally answer all members questions. Okay, so let's talk about customizing reports in QuickBooks. I get a lot of questions all the time about Okay, how do I show this on a report? How do I do this? How do I filter? How do I only show certain amounts, etc.? So I'm going to show you a couple simple tips today uh, when you pull up your reports and how you can customize them. So we're here on the home screen and what you want to do is you want to go to the reports drop down menu. So this is assuming that you know how to run reports. We're going to go to the report center. And so you've got all sorts of reports here, and I'm not going to go through all these, but, you know, in your QuickBooks file, uh, pull up the report center and you can see you've got tabs across the top, uh, you know, the standard memorized uh, favorites, recent and contributed. I'll show you contributed here in just a minute. These are very, very helpful. So, and then you'll have your other reports down the side over here. So all these different categories, the company and financial, sales, on and on and on. So there are a ton of preset reports in QuickBooks. So we're here, uh, company and financial, I'm going to pull up the profit and loss. So I just click run and you see it pulls up a profit and loss. Now, a couple things about this, which you'll notice are the date range, December 1st through the 15th. So you always want to make sure that you have the right date range for what you're trying to look at in here. I can't tell you how many times I get questions. People say, hey, I recorded this and it's just not showing up right. And I say, hey, check the date range. They change it and voila, it shows up. So first things first, just check that date. Usually that is a simple fix to show what you're trying to see. All right, so this is everything. This is all the activity for the profit and loss during this time period, December 1st through the 15th. But let's say that we want to show things a little bit differently or we want to filter this report. One of the most important buttons that you'll see up here is Customize Report. So if you just go up here and you click Customize Report, you're going to see, first of all, the tabs across the top and then all these options within each tab. So first of all is display. So if we say, okay, I want to change this to, let's see, this month. All right, so now we have the full month, uh, December 1st, 2023 through December 31st. Report basis, accrual or cash. All right, you also have this option up here right on the face of the report. So if you want to look at this on a cash basis or an accrual basis, you can switch this very easily right here. Display columns by, it's going to default to a total only. But let's say that we hit this drop down, we want to look at it by day, week, two week, four week, all these different time periods, or by class, okay? Or rep, item type, you know, there's just all sorts of options here, how you can slice and dice this information. All right, so let's say that we want to look at it by month, and we also want to change this back from October 2023 through 1231 2023. So we want to look at the fourth quarter, but we want to look at it by month. All right, so we got accrual month. Now, if you want to also look at prior periods, you can do previous year plus dollar change. Uh, you can do percent of income, which gives you your gross margin and net margin information, as well as, you know, expenses as a percent of revenue. Very, very helpful. And you can also sort by default, or you can sort by total. You can do ascending, descending, you just so many different options here. So let me just click OK. I'll show you what this looks like. So you're going to see here. We've got October by itself, November by itself, December, and then a total and it's got the percent of income here. So we added in this so we can see that, okay, the gross margin is 35.7%, 42, 83, and for all three months, 59.8. All right, so this gives you a little more detail of uh, what's going on here. 
So let me click customize report again. I'm going to take out percent of income and let's say that we want to filter for some information. So you can pull up a profit and loss, but let's say you only want to do it for a certain, let's say, customer type. So it defaults to all customer types and we can say we just want to see our residential customers. So we click OK and now you'll see just residential customers. So anything that was classified as a resident or customer type was a residential customer within QuickBooks, it's going to show the profit and loss for each month. OK, and if I want to change this back to let's just say last month, we can say last month and you've got this. If I also want to say previous year and dollar change, it's going to pull up November 23 compared to November 22 and the change. So you can see the residential side of the business has grown pretty, pretty dramatically up to 27,000 from 4,800 the year before. All right, so let's go back in here. And if you want to take this filter out, you can just highlight the filter and say, remove selected filter, and it's going to default back to all customer types. Now over here, you've got some font uh, items you can put in here. You can change the name, you can change the title. Uh, you know, uh, the fonts are over here and the numbers, but so you can change some of the alignment and things like that in here, make it look prettier. Same thing with the fonts. You can come in here and you can change the font for the labels, row labels, company name, title, etc. So let's say we want to change the font for the company name and we want to make it much bigger and we want to make it red. So we hit OK, change all related fonts, yes. And you can see here it changes this to red. OK. So these are a couple of ways that you can customize the report under this customize report button. Now, if you want to make comments on reports, you can do that as well. That's not really used as much. You can share a template, you can memorize this report. So you've got a lot of different options up here. One option I really like is collapse rows and it condenses this down so it's easily readable. So you can also use that as well. So let's go back to the report center. I do want to show you one other thing here. So if we say report center and we go over to this contributed tab. So if we go to the contributed tab, these are all uh, memorized, customized reports that other users have contributed. So now you can use them as well. Now you have to download these and you can run them. Uh, but you can see there's all sorts of different ones. So quarterly profit and loss, profit and loss by month. There are just so many of them down here uh, under this contributed tab. Take a look at these because oftentimes you're going to find that somebody else has already created this report. You can download it and use it and you don't have to spend the time customizing your own report. All right. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, again, head over to the QuickBooks University. That website over there is qbuniversity.org. You're going to find a lot of great content, a couple of free videos on the top mistakes that most people make in QuickBooks, as well as the full training tutorials. Look forward to seeing you there.